All right. No oh, man, that's kind of making it a little hazy there. Just uh, testing out my new overhead light. Might be a little too overheady. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's just shining on the. All right. Well, that's not going to be good. <laughs> oh, man. How's it going? Those of you, those of you who are going to watch this after it was live, what's up, guys? Just so you're not watching a bunch of nothing. Just came back from the flea market today. And I uh, was going to share some of uh, today's stories and uh, show off some of the things I picked up. So we'll get to that in a second. Looks like there's some people coming in here. Dane Self, what's up, man? You're you're like a constant uh, regular here, man. What's up, Dane? Good to see you here, as always. Oh, man. Oh. What's happening here? Ah. WGC, how do you write back at you? Thomas, good uh, afternoon. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Man. Oh, okay. Yeah, that light makes things a little bit hazy. I don't know. Hmm. I'm just playing with this new, new light setup I have. Looks like it's kind of making things easy, to be honest with you. I like when it hits the, the lens. Let me see. Hmm. Not, not too bad, I guess. Is the picture looking all right, guys? Or am I a little, like, hazied out? Let's do a little color test. All right, whatever. <sighs> it's just alive. <laughs> no big deal. Okay. It is a little hazy. All right. Thanks, WGC. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, it's probably just way too bright, man. Let's see. Use a little bit of this. That's better, right? Is that less hazy? <laughs> Fantastic. Stop it. Feel like I'm in film school again, trying to figure out the best lighting. All right, I can do this. There we go. So as long as the light's not going on the lens itself, we should be okay. I think that's cool. Whatever. I think this is good enough. It's good enough. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? How's it going, everybody? We are in my office, my little studio here. Uh, WGC, is it better now? Uh, Thomas, next time you're in Harrisburg, you should check out Toys on the Square in Middletown, PA. All right. Thank you. I will. I need to jot that down. I'll take a screenshot of that, actually. Let's see. I'm looking at it for myself for later. Oh! 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my god, that picture is crazy. That picture is crazy town. All right. All right, cool. What's up, liver diecast in the house? Mr. Mr. B. I'll just call you Mr. B. Or should I call you Brandon? Uh, I don't know. I just kind of tend to call people by their YouTube name. <laughs> it's just so that others know who I'm talking about. Like Monkey Shine Lab. Uh, old Zoo Diecast in the house. What's up, man? Some good people piling in here. <laughs> Why are you sorry, man? I just started literally five minutes ago. Don't even worry about it. Um, yeah, I don't expect everyone to be there for all of my streams or whatever. I'm just playing around, making sure my uh, YouTube channel is, you know, active and doing stuff. And uh, yeah, plus these are left on my channel for later anyway, so... You can watch all my live streams afterwards, everybody. <laughs> but I appreciate you for being here. Thanks, old dude. <sighs> Brendan. What's up, Nas? All the way from Trinidad. What up, Brendan? Thank you for being here all the way from Trinidad, man. That's appreciated. Um, cool. Thanks, Thomas. I'll definitely go check it out next time I'm there. Hopefully soon enough. Okay, your video earlier made me want to give everything away. <laughs> Never share anything again and lock myself away. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, I hope it didn't make you want to lock yourself away, but giving stuff away is not a bad thing. I, but yeah, glad you watched that. You mean the uh, the one I just posted um, uh, like two hours ago or so? Uh, just my whatever vlog slash podcast in the car that's cool sean did you post that post that on your instagram nice that's awesome monkey shine lab thanks for watching that man i just posted that uh drive from that trip uh podcast so check that out uh-oh rapids in the house uh sean oh you don't have instagram sorry man i actually um i got rid of the facebook app on my phone so i don't really check facebook anymore kind of kind of over that there's too much uh toxicity and um just i don't know facebook's just uh, it's overrated uh plus i'm kind of like sick of everybody's political thoughts and like, just fake everything. I don't know. <sighs> but yeah, I like Instagram simply because um, it's mostly just a photo. You're just posting photos. Um, and no one really reads what's in the description under that photo anyway. So I kind of like it for that reason. But yeah, I still have uh, Facebook. I have my uh, Nostalgic Secret Stash. I still have my actual uh, personal account, which uh, I never accept any friend uh, friend requests there because that's just for like my like real life people that I know like in person and uh, family and stuff like that because I, I <laughs> I've been all around the world I guess so it's a good way for me to keep in touch with them like the amount of friends I have on Facebook is like under under two hundred it's. But yeah, there's uh, there's my Nostalgic account, and there's also my uh, Nostalgic Secret Stash account. You can check those out, but I only check those, like, from now on. I'll be only checking those, like, maybe once a week, maybe every couple of weeks, whenever I'm on uh, my actual computer, not through my phone. Just, it's too much, man. Too much social media, man. It blocks your mind, bro. Uh... So I like I like YouTube, man. I'm right here. I can talk to people. People can comment. Uh, it just sucks that they got rid of the, the messenger system from YouTube. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, man. Liver Diecast. It's very chill. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, um, Monkey Shine Lab. Thank you, man. Yeah, it's uh, it gets different halfway through. Uh... That's good, Sean. Uh... Hey, Eddie. <laughs> Anything good? Uh, I was selling at the flea market this morning. That video is coming out. Um... Possibly tomorrow. I'm not sure because I also have a an unboxing video of a box a trade box I got from Derek uh, Honest diecast everybody's favorite youtuber in the community. So um, yeah, I have to uh, I already filmed that box So I need to post that and uh, I pass I might put up the Derek's unboxing tomorrow and flea market video I might put up on Saturday or maybe even Sunday morning. I don't know. We'll see But yeah, there's a bunch of videos man. I've been making videos left and right like like that podcast I did in the car. I had a lot of realizations and I love making videos man. This is that's my hobby That's my profession. I'm a professional filmmaker. I've done movies and I love making YouTube videos Rapid Nismo. Oh, you're you're writing uh, random words again, Rapid. <laughs> uh, sneaky geek. That's uh, that's a very American thing to do. I'm eating a burger in a parking lot and watching you. <laughs> uh... Ah, yeah. It's always nice when Eddie's watching my videos, man. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, Eddie from Simple Customs, he's he's a very analytical man. Um, you know, he's uh, a couple years older than me. <laughs> so, you know, he's uh, been through life. He's met different types of people. So I know that whenever I make a video about my analytical thinking and all stuff like that, I know he gets it because I'm sure Eddie has met, you know, some um, evil people, fake people, good people angelic people you know uh stuff that a lot of younger people don't really know yet so thank you for watching my stuff eddie it means a lot <sighs> yeah man <laughs> sometimes i get media burnout yeah uh same here i'm lagging no oh I'll wrap it oh man uh guys somebody's sending me the the delorean monster truck how cool is that? Some guy, um, I'm not going to say his name. I'll I'll do an unboxing. I'll ask him if I can use his name. But uh, totally, he's just like, he found a couple and he's like, Nas, do you want it? I was like, I thought he was joking. I'm like, no, nah, man, you know, like, what are, what are you talking about? Do I want it? And he's just like, yeah, I'm just going to send it to you, man. It's cool. I was like, oh, oh, all right. So, yeah, I can't wait to get that. I really want that freaking monster truck DeLorean. Oh, man. He might even send two. If he sends two, one you better believe one's staying freaking in package. Like hung up on the wall or gonna put a big gold chain with it. I'm just gonna walk around like what up, what up? DeLorean monster truck, bitch. <laughs> Matt selling and hanging out with some cool people. <laughs> nice man. Uh Matt, I really should be sleeping. <laughs> Matt, dude, it was awesome hanging out with you today at the flea market, dude. Thank you for uh, sparing some time for good old Nas and hanging out with me and uh, talking about stuff. We know that Vox will be straight fire. Uh, you mean from Derek? Yeah. Well, I it was a trade box, so um, keep an eye out. Hopefully, Derek will make a video. If not, that's cool, obviously. But he might be making a video of my box, so... You best believe there's some fire in there. Like, it's literally going to catch on fire. Derek's going to be like, what the, oh, what the fire, man? It's on fire, Nas, you ass. Why'd you send me freaking flammable? <laughs> All right. <sighs> Olds, dude, I agree with toxic Facebook. I'm catching up on comments, guys. As always, I can never get anything done on these live streams because I'm just basically talking to you guys. 
which I, I actually appreciate that. I, I enjoy just answering your questions and reading your opinions. I enjoy that. Monkey Shine Lab. I enjoy your talks, but I must say I'm worried about filming and driving. I would hate to see you have an accident. Yeah, man, I, I thought you of all people would find that as, like, uh, iffy. Um, honestly, I've explained that before. I try not to look at the camera, so I just kind of, like... I just kind of film like this. I'm not saying you, it's okay and you guys should do it, but, you know, I'll just, like, talk like this, and I'm watching the road. There's usually no one there, so I'll just kind of glance at you and, like, you know, and do that. I'm not, like, like this and, like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? Oh, was that an old lady I just hit? You know, like, I, uh, you know, I, I have some, some, a little bit of common sense up there in there somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, I, I definitely don't recommend uh, YouTubing and driving. It's not good. But you know, I'm a professional. Don't don't YouTube and drive, because <laughs> uh, yeah, if you hit something and freaking die, like oh, Nas said it was all right. Well, you're dead. So obviously, it's not <sighs> okay. Spider Man. Been meaning to ask. What does Thursday's dealer day mean in flea market? Um, I mean, I'm not sure how I can elaborate on that. Um, I think uh, it's dealer day. Um, so flea market has vendors who are dealers and it has customers, people that just come in to buy stuff. So dealer day is meant, it's a Thursday. So obviously a lot of people that are just customers aren't gonna be there. It's going to be people who are dealers, who are resellers, who are, you know, like people just like you who are selling stuff. So they walk around the flea market and they buy stuff up so they can sell or resell. So usually people try to like, you know, have the prices a little lower because it's dealer to dealer. It's meant to be resold. So that's what dealer day means. It's uh, not necessarily meant for the general public. Although general public is also there and they get deals as well. But Sunday is the flea market day. That's everybody has off and they go to the flea market. So dealer day Thursdays. Ugh. Also, Rapid, I guess you have you have the DeLorean monster truck. Uh, rapid Nismo. Uh, someday, dude. Someday we'll do a thing. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready to handle you live, especially if you just whisper next to your jukebox. I'm just going to be like, what's happening? Um, we'll do it one day. Uh, get in line, though, because I still got to do a live with Eddie from uh, Simple Customs. We're going to do a live stream with him. I also got to do a live stream with Chris, you know, um, Northeast Ohio's diecast and really long name. So Neo Dat, there you go. We're just gonna call him Neo Dat. Neo Dat. Uh, what nine thousand? I don't think that's for me. Always time for you, Nas. Good to chat with someone of similar mindset and uh, laugh at some. Yeah, man, Matt, dude. It's always an honor and a pleasure, dude. You're good people. Um, <laughs> lol, old lady, fifty points. Man, I'm behind these comments. Jeez. Uh, Daniel, uh, we're doing great, man. Maggie's at work. I'm back from uh flea market. I did great today, by the way, guys. I I made some money, so I'm glad that I held out to uh set up today, not earlier, because people showed up. The right people bought stuff. I'm doing good. Uh oh, Rapid has a tip. Good old tip from Rapid for Nas. Uh, here's a tip, Nas. When filming while driving, I recommend pulling the handbrake, going through an intersection, and trying to get as uh, big a kill streak as possible. Life is a game, after all. Uh, yeah, Rapid. Maybe that. Maybe possibly that's why we're not having a live stream yet together. <laughs> oh man. I love you, though, man. Um, you're welcome, Spider-Man. Ghostbusters, you're here. What's up, Chris? 
Uh, Fordsman. Hey, Nas, what's up, Fordsman? What's going on, my man? Uh, I'll be on the semi famous diecast table with diecast things on there. <laughs> Ah, uh, man, liver diecast. No new uh, MT monster trucks around here, but uh, tons of monster truck two packs. All right, yeah. Here we have a ton of like five pack monster trucks and stuff like that. I gotta admit though, I understand why why you guys collect monster trucks. They're beautiful, man. They're really like just aesthetically pleasing toys. Um, like the diecast is painted well. It's designed really cool. I just can't collect those, man. Draw the line at DeLorean. I might someday get Bigfoot, the original Bigfoot. That would be cool to own. Uh, but yeah, I really want to get like that original truck, you know, not necessarily vintage, but like the original Bigfoot truck. Because I remember that one as a kid. I mean, uh, what else do I remember? Gravedigger. Gravedigger was my absolute favorite. Did you guys know that Gravedigger, like, the original guy, like, he owns Monster Truck Racing now? And, like, his sons are, like, the top two Monster Truck guys in the sport? It's crazy. Just a tip. <laughs> Oh, nice. That's good to know, Cameron. <laughs> uh... Nice. Good to know, Rapid, about the DeLorean. What's up, Matthew? Thanks for stopping by, my man. <laughs> All right, cool. So let me show you some of the things I got at the flea market, which is not a lot. Um, today I was there with like complete intent to just sell because um, I just I need more money to take care of things here. Uh, but yeah, not going to go into that again. But anyway, so yeah, I'm really happy to have been able to uh, to make some money today. Um, I also got to walk around, film a... Uh, flea market days video which is i think it's going to be a good one because I, I just walked around i filmed a bunch of hot wheels a bunch of other stuff i'm into um but yeah um uh, all right cool i'm gonna stop trying to read these we're literally 25 minutes into the video and i'm like reading comments <laughs> Yeah, you see the protective case? <laughs> we'll start with this. I picked up this uh, DeWalt set of uh, screws. It's a full set, brand new, and uh, these are intended for uh, drilling metal. So they're nice and like strong metal bits. So yeah, that's cool. So I have a new, new drill bit to... Uh, drill out the posts i only paid 10 bucks for that all right uh cool next thing uh so like at the end of the flea market uh i already packed up i'm exhausted man i've been up since five in the morning i think it's five almost 5 p.m now so long day but anyway pick this up um as you can see it's a bone shaker gold trim and it's like a rust red so and this was a uh, there you go first edition oh sorry 2006 for first editions um i just sent out in a in a box to uh my man shane from a uh, super jdm diecast I just sent him a black one just like this. I think it was black and chrome though. So when I saw this and uh, the guy told me it was only a dollar, I was like, it's a dollar? Okay. I mean, look, it's pristine. And uh, it's a metal base too. 
So, this is really cool, man. I really like this. Yeah, Fordsman, there you go. Um, okay, next. Uh, so I walked up to this other guy before I saw this guy. He was selling one of these loose, and uh, he was asking $4, and it was all scuffed up. And I was like, I'm not paying you $4 for a used freaking old Hot Wheel. But uh, this is a Shelby Cobra Daytona 2007 new models. And... Uh, you know me, Shelby Street Diecast. It says Shelby there. But uh, I remember missing out on getting one of these premium. And I've never seen one in premium ever since then. <sighs> this is just... I just, tur I just got that light, so I'm still getting used to uh, its intensity. But uh, there you go. How cool is this thing? So this was um, two dollars for this one. I don't know. I don't like how big the back wheel is. I don't know why they did that. It just it's like obnoxiously too big. Like they're literally cutting into the the back panels there. I still love it. Don't get me wrong. This is still cool, man. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> but yeah, this is just I don't know. So yeah, um, two dollars compared to the other guy who was selling one for four dollars, and it was out of package and all scuffed up. Uh, I was I was almost gonna like expletive delete it on this guy. Oh my god! So yeah. <laughs> all right, there you go. It's a treasure hunt from twenty eleven. 2010, 2011. There you go. Datsun 240Z. Look at that box art. Let me get it out of that protective thing. Alright. And it's like the official Hot Wheels one, which is kind of neat. You guys know I'm going to open this, right? I'm even intending to do a wheel swap on it. Am I breaking your hearts? <laughs> oh yeah, Matt. Uh, what was the name of... Um, what's his name? You know, the other YouTuber guy. I got that from him. He was right across the way. You know, bearded scrapper. I don't know why I'm forgetting his name. But yeah, Matt, let me know. I forget. I just want to freaking remember. He has opinions. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Right the top of it just says Dotson right there. Red, white, and blue. There's your TH right there. 24. There you go. So yeah, I don't know, man. I was just like... The only thing looking at this is I was just like... You know, I'm looking at it and like these wheels are just crap. I'm sorry, guys, to curse or whatever. Look at that. Rear light tempos. Bert, that's it. <laughs> Scrap farm. That's it, man. Yeah. I knew that. I don't know why it came out of my head, man. I, I'm subscribed to him, too. I actually used to watch his channel all the time back in my scrapping days. But, uh, yeah, this thing's just great. I can't get enough of just looking at it. It's just so lovely. Rapid, you are a biscuit. <laughs> but, yeah, right? How cool is that? So, yeah, I would love to actually find a metal base for this. That would be, like, the ideal swap. Like, I'm not going to take this apart until I can actually find the proper replacement. Didn't know you were on live. <laughs> Nivan, thank you. 
a guy at the grocery store said, I hope you're buying those Hot Wheels, grandson. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's if anyone ever talks to you and they're like, I hope you're buying this for someone, just like ignore them or be like, yeah, I'm buying them for myself. I have stage three cancer. Um, and then just watch their face, you know, <laughs> Ruben, what's up, my man? Good to see you here. What's up, dude? Uh, but yeah. I know, I'm just keeping my camera on this just because it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm just, you know, happy. I don't know, okay. I paid 20 bucks for this. Do you guys think it's too much for a 2011 treasure hunt? Not super, just treasure hunt. Ruben, I'm on my toes lately ever since that shit with my Instagram. Yeah, man, Ruben, um, did you send me a message telling me to, like, open some kind of link from you? Because I got that message from your account today. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do that. but Because <laughs> I was like, ah, that doesn't sound like Ruben. But yeah, what do you guys think? 20 bucks, is it fair? It's pretty old. And it's like minty, as you can see. Okay, Ruben, thank you. I figured as much. That's what I wrote back to him. I'm like, uh, yeah, you're, you're the scammer, aren't you? <laughs> So yeah, there you go, guys. These are my pickups. I no longer go for uh, quantity. I like quality. And cars that mean something to me. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ruben, that you're going through all this garbage. It freaking sucks. I've been hacked before, too, many years ago. It's just such an invasion of privacy. It's, an, it's, it's messed up. 20 is pushing, but okay. All right, well, anyone else think 20 is too much? Bit steep for me, maybe 10, but hey, it's only worth what someone... Yeah, I know, Liver Diecast, it's only worth what someone's willing to pay for it, but at the same time, this is from 2011. This is 11 years old, so I don't know. I was kind of like, you know, on the fence about getting it for 20, but, you know, whatever. I really like the Datsun, and I'm sure if I went to some kind of, like, uh, hobby shop or whatever, it would probably probably be way more. Yeah, I mean, 10 bucks would definitely be better, guys. I'm not, like, arguing with you all. <laughs> uh, it would be great if it was $5. It would even be better if I could just pay a dollar for it. But, um, yeah... So most of you are saying 20 is too much. Some of you, like Monkey Shine Lab, says 20 is fine. See, exactly. Well, you haven't seen it anywhere else. I've never seen it before. So when I saw it on his table... By the way, check out that Flea Market Days video. It'll come out in, uh, in a couple of days. Uh, maybe even tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I filmed the guy's table. He had like RLCs. He had supers. He had all these amazing cars. And he actually wasn't like asking for too much. Like the RLCs, he was asking between 20 and 40, uh, which is like pretty much cost or less. Um, I didn't buy any of those because I didn't like any of them. Most of them were those uh, drag buses. If any of you are into drag buses, I guess. <sighs> but yeah anyway yeah i don't mind man i i made good money uh, at the market today selling my old stuff i don't need so i kind of treated myself i don't care monkey shine lab that's all of seven per uh what do you what Seems like a fair deal to me, Thomas. Nas, I'm not arguing with y'all. Usually ends up in a debate. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Rapid. Um, you should, that's like the first time you made some sense there, bud. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, yeah, exactly, Liver Diecast. I'm, I'm definitely a fan of Dotson, so... Exactly. Yeah, Monkey Shine Lab. Someone kept it in pristine condition in uh, one of these silly things. And from the looks of it, at some point, it was $30. So I definitely wouldn't pay $30 for that. <laughs> but there you go. Oh, God. All right. Mm. Cool. 
cool, 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 cool. Man, this light is just too bright. Hey, give me, give me a second. The bright's so so bright. It's like making me nauseous. <laughs> There, you're gonna have to deal with the natural light. Yeah, Gary, that's why I paid 20 bucks. It's that cool. And I was like, where, where else am I gonna find that? I don't know. Can someone look it up real quick on eBay? Tell me how much they go for on eBay. If if on eBay they go for $10, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, um, I have most of the Kaido House Dotsons behind me. And the ones that aren't out, I have them pre-ordered. Liver Diecast, uh, please don't ask him about the juke on my live stream. Because, oh my god. The Juke is what uh, Rapid drives. It's his alter ego. It's like the Batmobile to Batman. So, yeah. Rapid goes in there at night. He kind of regenerates inside of it. And, uh, yeah. That's that's what a Juke is. <sighs> Alright. <sighs> but, yeah... Ooh, hey, I'm gonna open this up, right? So um, I want to see if uh, if I'm an instant winner. Let's find out together, right, guys? Let's see if uh, HotWheels.com, no purchase necessary. See back for details. What do you mean, no purchase necessary? You have to purchase the Hot Wheel. The freaking blunt lies. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's open this Shelby first edition. 2007 new models all right look at that that back wheel is ridiculous why is it so freaking big <laughs> oh my god beautiful car man what a beauty man i just want this in real life it looks good this way because it makes like the back wheel look a little Smaller. There you go. The perfect angle. Ha ha. Okay, that one's opened. <laughs> I have a joke in my pants. Uh, you probably mean juke. What do you mean? Why are there sellers who make some fun? Yeah, I don't buy on eBay either. I just wanted someone to look it up. Uh, yes, Nas, make it spotty. Here we go, liver diecast on eBay for 20 to 30 and higher from what I can see. Okay, so I got it for cost for what it's worth, which is fine with me. Uh, music video ready with them big rims. <laughs> Sean, I uh, love the color, but needs better wheels. Yeah, man, I'm probably gonna uh, wheel swap this, but... As you've seen in my previous wheel swaps, it's hard to find big and small wheels. Um, but yeah, I think I'll find something. I think I have something for for it, actually. <sighs> zoom, zoom, zoom. It's color, not color. <laughs> Rapid, it's both are correct, actually. Uh, grammatically and literally. It's a Pro Stock Cobra Big Old Slicks. Uh, Gary, that's that's not what I mean. Um, that is not a realistic size wheel. Um, even pro stock or not, uh, they're not that big. They're the same, the same width as the front wheels, so they're not meaty tires. Like it's anyway. Uh, I'm over it. <laughs> Uh, so. <laughs> Angry English noises. <laughs> M2 slicks would, li yeah, they would actually. All right, let's see if uh, if if I'm a wiener. Peel and win. I'm P 
healing. Oh, imagine it's a winner. Uh, that would suck. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. It's like a number. So you'd have to go online. And uh, look that up. Later, liver diecast. Thank you for stopping by, man. <laughs> uh, always a pleasure, good sir. Why everyone got a wrench next to their name? Uh, that's because uh, they're like people that I know, more or less so. They're basically, it means you're a moderator. So if you make someone your moderator, they have a wrench next to their name and they can put people in timeout or if there's like trolls riding on your stream, they can get rid of them for you so you can focus on your stream and not like read comments where someone's like, oh, you're an expletive deleted, you know, whatever. So, yeah. <laughs> I probably need to make more people uh, wrench heads. <laughs> Mad Visions in the house. What's up, man? Good to see you here as always. <sighs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, man. We're... We're deputies of Nas County. County. <laughs> that's right. Or douches like me. Yeah, that's right, Monkey Shine Lad. You're you're a douche. <laughs> you're not a douche. I I can't like um, insult people that I like. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Sneaking in here while at work. All right, Mad Visions. Right on, man. Ruben Gerardo. Don't call me wrench head. You wrench head. Oh, Ruben, don't pay attention to Rapid. Um, you have to get used to him. He has he has one of those senses of humor that like. If you were if you didn't know him in real life, you'd probably knock him out. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, Monkey Shine Lab, you like that wrench next to your name? <laughs> uh, I've been called worse than wrench head. I'll take it. Hey. All right, so we got the Shelby. This thing, you know, I'm not sure I want to open this one. I know that's very um that's very un un nostalgic of me or un Shelby Street diecastic of me. But this is a you know 2006 first edition and I really like this one. As much as it would be cool to wheel swap this with some beautiful gold rims, like it looks good like that even though those rims are like just cheap. I just like this. I think it's really cool. Oh, and by the way, when the guy, uh, he took off $1 from our deal, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll kill you with kindness. And um, I basically uh, gave him a Tesla, a sealed Tesla Cybertruck. I was like, here you go, man. Do you have one of these? He's like, no. Nah. I was like, there you go. You can have it. He's like, well, no, why? It's cool, man. I was like, it's all right. You, you have it. I mean, if you're just giving me a discount of $1, you're not doing me any favors. Um, so I was like, here you go, right back at you. So technically, he didn't give me any favors. Killing him softly with my kindness. Then later, <laughs> murder. I don't know what that was. That was a thing that happened. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Rapid, go to bed. <laughs> uh, that was a wrench, meaning they are a tool. <laughs> good one, Gary. That's a good one, actually. Uh, I might keep that. Yeah, Monkey Shine Lab, I saw you, uh, your last uh, flea market video, which is awesome. I actually shared that one on my, um, uh, one of the Facebook accounts or something, I forget, but, uh, or even Instagram. Um, but yeah. I was like, if you like flea market videos, head over there. But uh, I saw you like 
like, oh, I'll be back next month. And you're like, I'm going to see if I can get that next month. I'm going to see if I can get that next month. I'm like, man, you better remember what you're trying to get next month. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to get everything next month. But I'm proud of you for keeping a budget. That's a good thing. Uh, Niven, why don't you open... Um, I don't open them with a nail polish remover because I don't intend to put them back on package. So, um, like this one, when I open this, I'll probably open this with nail polish remover because I like the artwork and this is, like, more of an important card to me. But, like, you know, like, that thing that I opened there and, you know threw it away like the Shelby one it's it's not you know why what am I saving the cards for to reseal it later like that's what I do to super treasure hunts when I open them I open them carefully and save the card or you know whatever stuff like that that was my official answer <laughs> oh monkey shine it's not the size of your tool that matters you know it's how hard you hit people over the teeth with it uh let's go brandon hey nas i found the delorean monster truck at walmart today congrats man that's awesome you should send it to me for free because i'm super awesome and nice <laughs> uh rapid yes it's only 9 21 p.m go to bed um I'm totally a tool. I am, but Chris wrote that. Oh, Chris, Ghostbusters, did you get your box from um, from Andre? Uh, you know, your winnings from the Pencils for Hope thing? The charity raffle they did? I really hope you freaking, like... Uh, I wish you'd do a video, man, just unboxing that box, just showing what it is, and maybe, like... You know, put a little link under the video to support the, you know, the charity so that, like, you can show off what you want and you can be like, guys, you should support this charity. I did. And look, I want stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to see what you want, man. Andre never really, like, showed everything that was in that uh, in that raffle prize, like, in detail. He kind of just did, like, an overview of everything. So it would be cool what to see what's all in there. If anything, just send me some pictures in private. Rapid. <laughs> uh, go to bed. Uh, speaking of which, how do you reseal a blister? Um, I made a few videos on that, but um, uh, the best way to reseal it is right before you open it, right? You have this ready, you have your cotton balls, you have your, uh, you know... Uh, nail polish remover clear nail polish remover i've seen people like hey no does it have to be clear yes it has to be clear otherwise the dye is gonna freaking go on this cardboard that's how things work when they have dye in them dye stays freaking that color but anyway so so chris this one's to you uh after you while it's fresh make sure you know what you're gonna put back in there and uh, right when you freshly get it all done and you open it and it falls out, what you do is you right away, you take the card that you want to reseal in there right away while it's still moist and you close it and you kind of hold it, maybe put it down, put some a little bit of weight, you know, weight on it. But uh, I would just hold it maybe for a couple minutes just in your hands, kind of gently, you know, go around with your fingers, kind of pushing down gently. Don't, like, try to smear anything, any paint, just, you know, a couple minutes, man. Just wait for it to dry a little bit, and you'll feel it. It just reseals itself. You don't need any glue. You don't need anything. So if you know what you're going to reseal right away, that's the best way to do that. Like, right away, it reseals with its own glue. The glue, basically, the, the acetone evaporates, and the glue stops being melty, and it uh, the chemical... Co chemical composition oh chem the chemical composition returns to normal and everything adheres as it was in the factory and you will not even be able to tell that somebody resealed it it would look just like it did from the factory just like that i do that all the time uh, if you want to reseal it later, make sure that you let it dry very well and keep it open a little bit while it all dries 
and then uh, just use like the smallest amount of uh, any glue, but very little bit, and just kind of go around where the plastic is and put it on the plastic, not on the cardboard, right? So put it on the blister, not the cardboard. Just kind of smear it a little bit, very gently, so it's not goopy, so it's not dripping. Just very, very sparingly, very gentle. Um, let it get tacky a little bit, and then do what I told you to do before. Just kind of hold it with your fingers, tap it, make sure you don't leave fingerprints. And uh, that's it. But remember, the least amount of glue is usually the best amount of glue. Don't freaking slop it around. Don't, like, pour all over it. It'll look bad. That's it. I have spoken. I'm Quill. Uh... Please do a video, Chris. We all love you, man. I don't know why you don't want to do it. Like, you live such an interesting life. You're a fantastically brilliant artist. Uh, you do freaking different cosplays. You have, like, friends that you stu you do stuff with. I want to watch all that, dude. You're an interesting dude. Like, just do it, man. Doing YouTube really helped me, like, fight. I used to have really... I still have, so like, social anxiety. But um, I used to, like... When I first started making videos, I was so self-conscious. I was like, oh my god, everyone's looking at me. Then as time passed, don't give a crap. Someone's looking at me, I can stand right next to you with my camera and just talk to it. Like, I don't care. No one cares. Nobody cares. So don't worry about it. Don't forget that everyone thinks about themselves. They see you doing vlogging, they don't care, man. They're just like, oh, he's vlogging, or maybe he's just having a video talk, video call, you know? So don't, don't, you know... Don't worry about it. You're awesome, man. Make videos. Make videos, Chris! <laughs> uh. Chris Chris told me, uh, like, thanks, got ya, like, half an hour ago. I'm still talking about it. Uh, Ruben, put it in a protective case. Thank you, Professor Nas. He's like, stop already, Nas. I got it. Uh... Chris, you don't have to self-promote yourself. Just make videos, dude. People that, like, know you and like you, they're gonna watch it, so. I only had, like, 100 subscribers on my channel for the first year of my YouTube. Like, it wasn't a lot of subscribers at all. Ruben, check your Instagram real quick. Message from my new Instagram. Been getting better with customs. I will, Ruben. I can't do that real quick right now because I'm having a, a live stream. I'm using my phone to do that. Um, yeah, man. Your art is appreciated everywhere, Chris. I think you know that. Uh, Ruben, uh, like I said, someone's sending me uh, one, maybe even two of those DeLorean monster trucks. But I fully intend to hoard those, so if I find any DeLorean monster trucks, I want all of them. So if you ever find a bunch that you, you know, maybe don't want or, you know, whatever, let me know, Ruben. <laughs> shameless, shameless re requisitions for DeLorean monster trucks from Nas. Uh... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, Nas, you're live? Chris, Nas is always live, baby. <laughs> nice, I like your banter between each other, guys. You're all, you're all freaking awesome people. I really enjoy all of you. You're all so freaking different, man. Like, you're all special in your ways. <laughs> I love you guys. You're so sweet. There you go. Yeah, I heard you talking about Rusty in your uh, last video. Uh, Monkey Shine Lab. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, Niven, uh, you get a YouTube plaque for 100,000 subscribers. That's the first plaque you get. I'm not even at 10,000 subscribers, so my plaque is non-existent. Uh, I'm not like a big famous YouTuber. <laughs> like I'm under 10,000. That's in YouTube world. That's that's nothing. You guys know me, but that's because we all keep in touch. We're in the we're in the same community. You know what I'm saying? Ruben, man, you're the man. Please let me know what you need, Ruben. If you're, you know, if you're looking for any castings, like, I know you pretty much got everything you want, but um, I'll keep an eye out for more, um, you know, cool combis, because I know you like to customize those. Yeah, man, Ruben, you're, you're very much appreciated, man. I really do appreciate everything you do. You've helped me a lot. Like most of the um, wheel swaps I do, I got those wheels from Ruben. Even, even, either in a trade or he just sent them to me because he's freaking awesome, man. Like art donation, you know. He's 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 good people, man. Oh yeah, Ruben, I'm actually gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go downtown Philly soon. And possibly uh, back to uh, that other city that I just came back from. So I'll send you some pictures. Uh, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> uh, oh, thanks, Matthew. Uh, Sean Carlos Reed. Uh, Niven, I'm not worried about it, man. I'm not worried about getting there. Um, I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I got other sources of income. I got uh, other connections. You know, um, I'm also a social worker. Uh, I'm also a filmmaker. I do freelance stuff with my other camera. Um, I have two other jobs other than those so i'm good youtube is a hobby uh i mean it would be nice to get to a hundred thousand but that's a long long road man i'm just kind of i'm focusing on just doing what i'm doing man and if it picks up and i succeed at it that would be badass dude <sighs> I live less than half a mile. All right, Rapid. I, I'm not sure I understand what you're saying about Philadelphia. But I think it's good. I don't know. Diecast Chasers in the house. What's up? Yeah, Nas do be busy, dog. <laughs> Rapid, I wish I was next to you. I'd just backhand you, like, right across the face. Just like... <clears throat> or, like, if you would walk in a hallway... <laughs> like, you'd be walking by, like, whispering, you know? Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't wait to get me jukebox! I'd freaking, like... You'd be walking by, not expecting a thing. I'd just grab an empty trash can and just throw it at your head. And you'd be like, oh, boom! And I'd be like, ha ha, you wouldn't get hurt, but it would be hilarious, you know what I mean? Love you, Rapid. <laughs> oh yeah, Ruben, I'll bet. Is it is it like really dry right now in Cali? I know there's way too much competition over there, but I guess it's still dry everywhere. <laughs> All right, Rapid. You're a ninja. Uh, Ghostbusters quick response unit. Yup. A Philadelphia uh, insurance claim coming your way. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. You saw... Um, most of you probably saw the movie Hot Fuzz. 
So, you know, I, I love those two guys. But in that movie, there's a part where <laughs> one of the one of the characters is walking through a hallway, just like I described, and someone just freaking hurled an empty trash can at his head, and it hit him, and he's like, come on! Dude, I was laughing my ass off on the floor for like five minutes. I'm just like, why is this so hilarious? I was just, it's just freaking awesome, man. I don't know. Hot Fuzz is the shiznit. <laughs> but don't... <laughs> no diecast in Oregon. Yeah, it looks like we're all kind of dry on Hot Wheels. But, you know, like I was talking about in my uh, last video podcast, like, first of all, I'm not really collecting, you know, main lines like these anymore. I got this because it's a particular Shelby casting. And, um, you know, I, I bought three Hot Wheels today at the flea market. I used to come home with, like, a bin or a tub full of Hot Wheels from the flea market. Um, like, this is awesome. Like, I can actually appreciate the three things I got today. Like, I'm happy with them. I can pay attention to them. It's not, like, a whole shitload of shit. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, same in Georgia. Yeah, old dude, same here. Sounds like something from the Breakfast Club or Ferris Bueller. What the trash can? That it happens in movies a lot. It's my favorite like joke that people put into films. I don't know why people do it. It's just funny. Uh, Ruben. Oh oh oh. And no competition for me. I'm a solo in this county. Uh, as town. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh. That's, uh... Yeah, you guys, uh, Ruben, I don't know if you want to shout out your new Instagram. Maybe just write it down so people can uh, hit you up and subscribe to you. And they can see your freaking epic finds and your epic pickups. So yeah, guys, Ruben, he's the man. He's a good friend, man. I never met him in real life, but he's a good guy. Uh, uh, Nas, you need to watch Little Britain. I have. I have watched Little Britain. <laughs> Maggie's into everything Britain, so we watch a lot of British TV. Um, yeah, I could give you a list, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff we watch. I used to watch Peep Show. I love Peep Show. Um, there was another one, like uh, something about rent, flat, something, I forget. That's awesome, man. Ruben, uh, kind of tells you why I hit so much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mustang Hunter in the house. Yo, some dude hacked my Instagram. Really? You too, Mustang Hunter? What is happening? Yo, Jason, that's exactly, we were just talking about Ruben right here. His uh, Instagram just ha got hacked as well. Everybody, be on the lookout for this hacker, man. He sends you, like, a link, or he asks you to check a link for him. He pretends to be somebody you know. Don't don't click on any links. Anyone sends you a link, send them a question back or something, or just block them right away. Or, uh, you know, don't open, don't click on stuff. If you're not sure what's going on, don't click on that link. Jason, I'm so sorry, dude. Your Instagram had so many photos and so much amazing history, too. Just like Ruben. Jeez, man, that's messed up. And yeah, I got that message today, and I, I wrote to Ruben. I was like, Ruben, did you just send me, you know, uh, the whatever link? He's like, nah, don't, don't open it. <laughs> ah, that's messed up. Sorry, Jason, man, that sucks. There you go. There's Ruben's Instagram, guys. Foxy86 underscore diecast. Please head over there. Freaking, uh, you know, subscribe to his Instagram account. He's a good guy. And if you're an asshole, don't subscribe to him. <laughs> Monkey shine. Little Britain rules. There you go. Nice. But due to a uh, blackface joke they did, it's disappearing. Oh, uh, I don't think I even know about that. 
Uh, Mustang Hunter uh, is talking to Ruben. Oh, see, there you go. Damn, so somebody used Ruben's account. Um, yeah, Mustang Hunter, that's Ruben's old hacked account. He's using, whoever this hacker is, he's using, like, people's accounts that he knows. And he's just spreading his uh, BS to everybody. It wasn't Ruben that hacked you. It was someone that hacked him already. He tried to hack me as well. I just didn't click on the link. Damn. Uh, yeah, Rapid. She knows who you are. She calls you Rapid Nismo. <laughs> That could be uh, for my 86 Fox body and diecast, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, old dude, man. Jason, that sucks. Uh, rapid uh, Jason, not a clue at all. I can think of uh, logging relentlessly. Old dude, laughing. Jason, I got jacked, man. <sighs> yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Like I said, that's happened to me a few years ago, and it's such a freaking drag and bummer. If I were you guys, I would go anywhere to all your other accounts and just change your freaking login, change your passwords, make sure they can't access it. Uh, I've recently actually um, unlinked all of my accounts. I used to have like my Instagram and Facebook linked. I unlink that stuff, man, because, like, that way they can just go everywhere, like a disease. It's messed up. I can't believe that now it's two people. I hope this doesn't spread. Everybody, please, like, let your friends know not to open links. Be like, don't open a link if anyone sends you anything. Ah. <sighs> I don't even know what it looks like. Um, Jason or um, or Ruben, do you guys remember like what they wrote? Like what it, what did it look like? What should people look out for? <sighs> I mean, uh, Mustang Hunter, Jason, you said it was Ruben, so you always talk to Ruben. I know, man. Um, that's the thing. Ruben probably got hacked by... Oh, yeah, Ruben told me he got hacked by someone that he was talking to always. So his friend, and it just... It's a chain, man. Like, uh, whatever you guys do, don't blame each other for this. This is a hacker that he probably doesn't even know any of you. Damn, Jason, 4.1 thousand follows. Shit, man. You know what, though, Jason, please keep it positive because, you know, like me and everyone here and maybe some of our other mutual friends on YouTube or whatever, like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll holler you out, man. Don't worry about it. Same goes for you, Ruben. Like, you know... Uh, people are gonna go to your new account. I don't know. I guess you need to like rename it or something. Maybe change your logo. Uh, you know, for the new account, and um, just try to send out requests to uh, to people to you know friend you again. <sighs> this is messed up. Yeah, I've never had that many followers. That's gotta be a freaking blow. Damn. Yeah, I mean, Rapid's right, Jason. You can try try doing that. Reach out to the Instagram support people. Okay, Jason. That's that was the message. Yeah, that's the message I got from uh you know, also. Damn.
Yeah, you know what, Jason? That's exactly what Ruben said. That's what I get for being kind. That's what I'm. That's what I get for helping people. Uh, but please don't think that way. That you're not. This isn't happening to you because you're nice. Because you're helping people. This is happening to you because some asshole out there is an asshole, and they're doing this to mess with you. They're doing this to steal some kind of information from you, or they're just straight up trolls who know how to do this and they're just doing this to get a kick out of it like who knows you know but yeah please don't stop being kind and nice man like the nice people that are there in your community they wouldn't do this to you you know any of you ah, this is messed up mm. i'm just reading all of this all of your conversations jesus christ man Uh, Gary, that's exactly why I tell people not to be assholes, because of this type of stuff, man. Hey, what's up, Houdini? Damn, I need to get some water. This got me, like, really riled and angry inside. Like, I hate hackers, man. Yeah. Jason, I don't know if you were there. Um, when I was having my live stream way, like, a few years ago, I think two years ago... It was my live stream with uh, with Derek of Honest Diecast and Mark from uh, Dotson, Dotson Man Diecast. And we were just kind of get, getting to know each other, talking, and then all of a sudden I got, like, spammed with, with trolls. Like, they were all up in my comments, like, calling me a Nazi or gay this, gay that. Then they're, like, trying to reach out and saying, like, Derek's one, like, calling us really awful, awful names and just saying all these things then they created like fake accounts like for me they straight up made fake accounts of me with like weird photoshopped uh pictures and stuff like that and uh i think they did the same to derek too they might have done it to mark he hasn't really mentioned anything but like uh oh yeah and then during my live they like posted my uh my address in the live stream like these people are no joke so be careful guys be careful what's going on i did reach out to uh i i don't know if i'm allowed to say this i reached out to like the authorities and uh gave them like screenshots so take screenshots guys because they can delete stuff that they're sending you uh you're you know whatever Take screenshots of what you're witnessing of this happening, their message, you know, all that stuff. And uh, that way you can, if anything ever happens, you have some kind of evidence. Screenshots, guys, all the time. Take those screenshots. Anything shady, screenshot, save it in the folder. You might not ever need it. But during this stuff, oh my god, man. But yeah, there were like threats for like, against Maggie. Uh, I just found out about... A couple of other YouTubers that I know, they're my real friends in real life. I've seen them. I'm not even going to mention who they are. But one of them stopped making YouTube because somebody was making threats against his wife, against his child. They also sent him like, hey, I know your address and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, everybody, get a P.O. box. Like, I have my friend's address that I have people send shipped stuff to. Uh, he has a little, like, office that he rents from a, from a house or whatever. So I give people that address. I don't give out my house address. So be careful, guys. Be careful. Jeez. Okay, you remember that, Jason? Yeah. <laughs> we were we tried to be uh, very like on top of it, and Derek and Mark were trying to moderate and like delete everything with the wrench power. So that was cool. And that's to answer everyone's question. That's why you give out wrenches on YouTube. That way. All your friends can look out for you and get rid of any potential trolls, whatever. You know, like, just get rid of them right away. Never talk to a troll. <sighs> wow. Oh, yeah, I needed water. Jesus, I'm about to, like, pass out.
Oh yeah, that's true, Jason. For you, as far as you're concerned, yeah, you're good with that. No one's gonna mess with your address there. But the rest of you guys, just don't be trusting. <laughs> don't hand out your address. <sighs> Yeah, it's, it feels very, very messed up when someone invades your privacy like that. It's, it's very uncomfortable. Makes you want to go to a, a gun range. <laughs> 4,000 freaking likes or whatever, subscribers. Damn, that's just... <sighs> <laughs> nice, Sean. Good. That's right, Jason. Yeah, you you're you're wedding with the with the military. Like you're you got you got good backup. They got your back. Mm. Really, they hold your account for ransom. But, like, why would you trust them to pay them? How are you going to trust that they're going to give you your account back? Like, I don't know. I can see that, though. Uh, old dude diecast. Actually, they'll keep commenting. Like, I'm still getting messages from Ruben's account. They're trying to scam me. I'm just not responding to them because me and Ruben were in touch and he told me like yo I got scammed and like I was like oh sh you know so I you know I was looking out for what he told me uh maybe we should make a video yo Jason if you can bro make a video about this like make people aware of this I'm not <laughs> sorry I don't mean to put you on the spot Maybe don't do that, because that'll just draw attention to you from, like, other trolls or something. So, yeah, don't listen to me. I'm stupid. <laughs> Monkey Shine Lab gave my address to Andre. Been a victim ever since. <laughs> nice. That's a good one. Oh, man, Ruben. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. This sucks, dude. <sighs> I have a nine millimeter. It comes to my place. I know. Yeah. I mean, I I got protection at my house. If anyone ever shows up to my house, but uh, I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is. But one goes pew pew, and one goes slice slice. <laughs> I know no one's gonna break into Hewitt's house. He's just gonna lock you up in a freaking dungeon in his basement and just show you all show off his collection of knives and. Rifles. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, uh, Chris, that's exactly what they're hoping. They're hoping you're stupid or they're just hoping, not that you're stupid, they're just hoping that you're a trust trustworthy, like you're a trusting person who you know, hasn't been, like, jaded by the world or been taken advantage of, and you just, they're hoping that you're kind of naive, you think people are good, everyone has goodness in them. Everyone does have goodness in them, but a lot of people just have, like, 1% of goodness. By the time you get to that goodness, you're going to be covered in shit from head to toe. So sometimes it's not worth looking for that goodness, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, don't be gullible, guys, not these days. Like, in Philadelphia right now, there's, like, crazy downtown Philly, People are getting mugged constantly. It's like old school, like, 80s or 90s New York in Philly now. Like, people's cars are getting hijacked. 
people are straight up just rolling up on people that stopped at a red light, stealing their car, or just robbing them while they stopped at a red light in the middle of the day with other cars around them. Like, it's freaking crazy right now, guys. Like, the world is going nuts. <sighs> Fake sponsors. All right, Mad Visions. Damn, that's a whole other can of worms. Yeah, Jason. Exactly, Jason. Never, never say what or how many. The only way to find that out is when you break in. <laughs> And it, you might not even find out then, because it just takes a one to put your ass down. Or I tie you up and take one of these, take you to the basement, and be like, What's in your temple, boy? Um, that's not a temple. Uh, oopsie. Ah, uh, man. Ruben, no, dude. That's... My life doesn't matter, dude. I was just hanging out. I already did all this. I showed people what I got. None of this matters, man. This this matters. I like this. I don't like what happened to you guys, but, like, jeez. You know, everybody, please spread, spread this awareness, man. Midnight Toker, what's up, my man? We're talking about people getting hacked. Don't click on any links that people send you in Messenger on Instagram or Facebook. Even if it's a friend that you know, everyone's getting hacked right now. So, yeah, don't click on links. <laughs> Rapid, we can only count on you, man. It's time to send the drones out. Yeah, man. Oh, man. What's up, Brian Bender? What's up, man? There's another surprise coming your way. <laughs> oh, and I put these wheels on this one. Metal base. It's all about the base. About the base. It sits lower than that. It's just hanging. <sighs> because of that porn video yeah midnight toker it's always funny when someone joins the conversation like later and they don't know what happened they're just like going with the jokes hashtag hack city yeah uh Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there's a little, little, little eye candy to everyone. This is for Brian Bender in the UK, in Brittany. He sent this to me to customize it, but I customized a different one, and I wheel swapped and base swapped this for him. Because he likes it. I also wheel swap this for him. I don't care, man. Sorry, I'm spoiling it for you, bro. I'm just not going to show you the actual custom that I made for you. You know what it looks like, but, you know, I'm still detailing it. Oh yeah, guys, also, like, go through your social accounts, like, if you haven't been hacked yet, like, your uh, Facebook and Instagram, delete, delete as many people as you can that you don't talk to, people that you look and you're like, who, who is that? Like, you don't need, you know, you don't need hundreds or thousands of, you know, followers or whatever if you don't know who they are. Like, Jason's account's different. It's like a media account. He's the Mustang hunter. Like, he has followers. He posts things. It's... 
it's not as personal it's more collector oriented if that makes sense like i have a bunch of different accounts one's more personal one's more you know for youtube and stuff like that for my collecting so but yeah especially facebook if it's your like private personal account dude get rid of people you don't know it doesn't matter how many friends you have like does it matter to you it doesn't matter to me like every friend i have on facebook i know them i've met them most of them i've met them in real life like i've been around the world you know and i i i can't find my baby but um yeah <laughs> sorry but yeah man i used to have like over 800 friends on on facebook now i have under 200 because like i don't know who those people were i don't even know like if you check your groups you're probably you probably have hundreds of groups do you really follow all those groups get rid of a bunch of them man they all send cookies at you man like it, it clogs your social media save only what matters <laughs> That's also how hackers, they piggyback on, like, you know, they'll create false accounts and just sit there and stalk you. It's, it's creepy. There you go, Midnight Toker. Just delete that shit. <laughs> yeah, Jason. That's that's very good. No one really should post photos of their young kids. Just just don't do it. Unless it's a private account and you only have selected friends and family on that account. That's fine, because it's private. No one else other than the people in your friend circle can see those. So if, you know... I think I had my uh, Instagram account set to private. All of my Instagram accounts. I think I have three or four. I had all of those set to private when I was being hacked by those trolls from YouTube. Like, everything was private. And then I sent out... I took the time to send out a message to every friend I have on Instagram. I mean, I copied and pasted, but you still have to send. <laughs> so, I sent that message to everyone. I'm like, guys, this is my only account. If you see any other accounts, especially if there's, like, weird images on there uh, of me looking like either Hitler or me having nice girl boobies or other gay stuff, uh, that's what they were posting. So I was like, if you see any of that, obviously it's fake. Please block them. Don't talk to them because they're going to do the same thing to you. And over time, I looked all those fake accounts had zero friends. And then over time, I've also, like, sent out messages to Instagram and Facebook they shut everything down, man, because everybody that I sent a message out to, I said, first of all, uh, unfriend them, but also block them and report them for, you know, whatever. So, yeah, we got rid of those motherfuckers real quick. Not real quick. It took about a month and a lot of stress, <laughs> but we, we did it. Hopefully that doesn't happen to any of you. So far, it just looks like they're stealing your account and not actually messing with you personally. Yo! Hold on, I think my cat's uh, doing things to my other cat. Go! No! Stop! <clears throat> Alright, anyway. That's good, Chris. That's a good one, Rapid. Send it out. Uh, monkey shine, you like my song? Uh, good, good, yeah. There you go. Again, if you make it personal just for your friends, keep it private, man. Keep it personal for your friends. No one else needs to see everything else you do in your life. You're, you know... <sighs> I have... Anyway, I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> uh, uh, Ruben. Uh, 
Oh yeah, cat privacy. Yeah, my male cat, they're both fixed, but the male cat, he still wants to do things, and he's still young. My female cat, she's 20 years old. She has weak legs, she can barely see or hear, so like, it's horror when this big, fat, freaking young cat gets on you and starts to do magic. So I have to break them up, because that's just freaking horrible. Man, whew, this was a stressful half an hour, guys, with all your hacks. Jeez, <laughs> I got all sorts of flustered. Thanks, Jason. Definitely keep us posted, man. Send me a private message somewhere if you... Uh, somewhere. <laughs> Who knows where? You can't, I guess. Maybe, Jason, maybe make uh, another account like Ruben did. Just something that you can start growing right away. So we can all talk to you, you know? Do the Mustang Hunter logo with, like, two nines. <laughs> I'm the motherfucking Mustang Hunter! <laughs> I don't know. Hack into this, bitch! I don't know. I don't know shit. Houdini, stop! Dude! <laughs> Time for cat love. <laughs> yeah, cats are crazy, man. They're jealous of each other. So, like, they'll get, like... They fight over mine and Maggie's affection. They're they're crazy, man. But, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, I just realized... This Dotson, I can't open this safely with um, the nail polish remover because these older ones with uh, this kind of paint on the side, that doesn't come off, sadly. Like, all of this stuff on the white part, that's going to come up easy. But when it's this paint, that it's stuck to that plastic for some reason, dude. Like, uh, when I opened this uh, DeLorean Super... When I open this DeLorean Super right here, see I put my uh, polished time machine, but see like it comes up no matter what. It just it's just stuck. So those of you that have hopes of safely opening these older ones, don't do it. It's not gonna melt through. I've given it time. I've soaked it. I've over soaked it. It's just it's on there, dude. So this glue, if it's on there for like 5 to 10 years already, it ain't going nowhere. So it, it predominantly works on newer castings, you know, like like this one that I got from Robert. Like, see, this, this opens up nice and easy. Oh no, because this one isn't that new either, 2018. So a couple years, see? If there's paint, it's gonna freaking come off. The white white bits, they're fine. But if there's a little bit of paint, I mean, it'll reseal and you won't be able to tell. But if you're not, so yeah. Sharing some sharing some info with you guys. <sighs> Sounds good, Brian. Oh, gee, thank you also. What's up, OG? Uh... Rapid, you're the man, dude. It sounds like you can actually do this. Um, if you can, go to, you know, I think you're probably doing this already. Go to your whatever account. Or you said you don't have Facebook or Instagram. <laughs> oh, no, that was Sean, I think. But yeah, man, can you just spread spread it? Maybe make a video. Maybe you can make that video, Rapid. Like, make a little... Uh, warning video on your channel because I know all of us watch your videos because you know you're 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 our little juke buddy, we love you. <laughs> but yeah, um, just tell them you know, Jason and Ruben got hacked and maybe a bunch of other people as well. What's up, Sation? Yeah, we were just talking about people getting hacked for the past half an hour. 
Uh, so yeah, uh, if you have an Instagram account or Facebook account, uh, don't open any links that you are being sent right now, even if it's from like a friend that you know. It might not be your friend. They might already have been hacked and they're trying to hack you. They basically steal your account and uh, that's it. I don't think you'll be able to get it back. They steal your password, they change your password and now it's their account with all your information on it. <sighs> Ruben, man, thank you for stopping by. Thanks for, um, you know, spreading this um, information about this hacking, man. Now we're all going to be aware of it. So thank you, my man. Much appreciated. I'm, again, sorry it happened to you, man. <sighs> it's okay, Rapid. Just make a video, bro. I'd make a video, but I already put out two videos today. It's just gonna jumble up. No one's gonna no one's gonna see it because it's I'm posting too much. <laughs> uh, but I probably will post a bunch of stuff on uh Instagram. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> Ruben. Yes, rapid <laughs> handle, make the video. Oh yeah, Ruben. Um yeah, people people love Jason, man. He's, you know, he's the one of the biggest YouTubers, Hot Wheels YouTubers in this community. Jason's going to be back up on his feet, man. People are going to help him out. He's going to do better than ever, man. This is probably because of this uh negative thing that happened. A lot of positive things are going to happen. Same to you, Ruben, man. Like we're all we're all aware of you much more so than before. Uh, but yeah, your your new Instagram account and hopefully, dude, Ruben, man, make YouTube videos, bro. You don't have to show your face if you're shy about it. <laughs> Just uh, show your collection, show your customs, maybe, you know, do a little more uh, recording when you're out hunting, man. Like the pictures and little mini videos you sent used to send me on Instagram, like they, they were awesome, man. I think everyone should see them. Like the stuff you get and like. You know, you don't have to give give away the locations, you know, so that no one like, you know, maybe someone lives like half an hour from you and they're like, I know where that is. You know, you don't have to give away locations, but dude, I would love videos from you, Ruben. Uh, what's up? What's up, Gimme? Yeah, Rapid, I got it. I'll be letting people know. <sighs> uh, what do you mean, who's Ruben? Have you not been here, Rapid? Have you not been here during the last half an hour? Or more of us talking to Ruben, <laughs> of me talking to Jason about Ruben. Ruben also got hacked. The same thing happened to Ruben. Yo, Ruben, can you put your new Instagram uh, handle up again? But yeah, Ruben's another very important uh, person in the Hot Wheels community. He's he's my friend. Uh, we haven't met, but you know. Uh, but yeah, I've been trading with him for a couple years now, uh, trade boxes left and right. Uh, so yeah, uh, no, what's I know, you know, dude, I'm just freaking letting everyone else know. Uh, Chris, Nas, what's everyone to YouTube? Nas, what's everyone? Not what I'm saying. They're gonna click the link. Okay. I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyway. Fuck all of you! I hacked you, bitches! <laughs> Peace! <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? I'm a nobody that collects. Ah, shut up, man. I'm a nobody that collects. Come on, man. Uh, I know. Rapid. I know. Uh, there you go. 
those of you that don't know Ruben yet, that's his new Instagram account, the unhacked one. Go to that one. Uh, help him out, because he got hacked. He don't have anybody on his account anymore. They took all his shit. And hopefully Jason will make a new account as well. So we'll all we'll all help them both build their stuff up. I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be a, uh, at least a couple more people that got hacked because they still don't know about this. So I'm going to end this live stream in a couple minutes so I can go and um, uh, share all of this on Instagram or uh, not Facebook. I don't like I said, I don't have Facebook on my phone, so I don't even care. <laughs> Hack Master Nas. I mean, I could do all of that, but I, I'm not an asshole. <laughs> also, why? Why? Uh. Mm. Oh my god, it's been a long day. Oh, first flea market. Uh, all sorts of shit. Harrisburg yesterday. Then got up for the flea market at like 5 in the morning. Uh been a long ass freaking day yeah leader of the hacker police <laughs> hey man i've been hacked before and i've been trolled by trolls before in a very you know dangerous way so i don't wish that on anybody it's uh it's fucked up excuse my american language <sighs> <sighs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to finish this up. Um, so, yeah, thanks, everyone, for hanging out with me, talking. I think we all learned something. <laughs> Plus, I got to poop, man. I, I got to let it out. I got to I gotta exercise some demons, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm about to hack my toilet. All right, everybody, I'm going to go uh, say your goodbyes to each other. And uh, please try to make your friends aware that there's a hacker and ask them not to open any links, not to copy and paste anything. Uh, please let your friends know if you have social media, Instagram or Facebook. Uh, yeah, Mike. Uh Hola, hola, como estas haciendo, bro? Juan de doy uh, Hot Wheels. Um, so you said, what's up, my something? Where are the bro Juan cars? Uh, I'm just kidding, Mike. I, I don't, I can't read Spanish. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, everybody who's just joining us, you missed everything, because I'm about to uh, end this live stream. So, feel free to watch this whole thing again after I end it. It's going to be right here on YouTube in my live streams playlist. All right, yeah, later, taters, in the wild, crocodiles, live long and prosper, don't be douchebag hackers. Because hack is whack. Peace. <laughs>